<sighs> Let's be positive, though, because we need to go to twelve. We need to be positive, because that's what this time of the day is, isn't it? It's summer in Auckland. Come on! The black caps. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Come on! Let's be positive. Just stop right there. No negativity. Let's be positive. LBP. Let's be positive. All right, Gunny, let's start then. Bat in hand, mate. My black caps, your baggy green. Be positive. Martin, I think that many people are missing a very simple point, which I heard delivered by Tim Southey earlier today, and it goes like this. Now, keep this in mind when you want to be critical of the Black Caps' performance. As Southey said today, if the top order had have had some luck, things could have been different. Right. Okay. So essentially what he's saying, Martin, is we could have won that, if we'd actually have scored some runs. The okay. point being... Right, I'm writing that down. ...is okay. that... Okay, cricket. Well, score, ru- score runs, okay? So hang score on a second. Score runs. So, score, score, what, is that just more runs or just score runs? Score runs, score runs, okay? Some, okay. some runs. And, some okay, runs some would runs. have given them a chance. Some runs. They had the worst of the conditions and it clearly showed. And the bottom line is a little bit of bad luck. And if we get more runs, we're in it. Now, who knew the, uh, the, the solution was that simple? Well, yeah. Saudi's not panicked. Okay. He's not worried. Yeah. Well, he, he's probably the only one. Well, now, Daryl Mitchell, anyway, Mitchell was on the show before, before three. He said something. Well, his attitude was simply, look, he was more flush the dunny and move on. Your old T-shirt that you had made up of Steve Hansen's quote. Mm. Is, that, is that, what the hell do you do? I mean, look, the, the only pleasure and joy any of us who are Black Caps cricket fans can get out of that result is the fact that your chutney locker must be equally as sore today after what happened to you. Oh, let's, look, let's not try and deflect. <laughs> okay? <laughs> let's just focus on, let's focus on the black caps at hand, if you don't mind. Well, I'm just saying. Okay? okay. There's enough negativity around good without point. us good looking okay. anywhere else. Yep. Score a few more runs. Let's keep it simple. Yep. Kiss the kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Score more runs. Don't get unlucky. And then that's it. That's it. Okay, that's well, all you need. Can I, that's all you need. Can I, can I, okay, so what I'm looking forward now is to Pat Cummins' next press conference where he actually fronts the media and says, listen, we were pretty glum after capitulating with no pants on against India for the second time in a matter of weeks. But taking a leaf from the Tim Southey book, if we score more runs and we have a little bit of luck, there's every chance that we're going... No, you see, this is bollocks, mate, and you know it's bollocks, and I know it's bollocks, because it's just bollocks. It's just... Your technique is poor. You overthink it. Well... You can't connect with the well, bloody ball when it's bowled to you, you know? And also, that, when you bowl to them, you bowl on half-track, and they smack to the fence, mate. Well, the aggressive nature of the way they play right. is another thing that possibly okay. should be looked at. Is it even legal? Should they be allowed to be that aggressive? And is it killing the game trying to bring fast and aggressive scoring to test cricket? I'm not sure that's the way forward. That's for 2020. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm starting to agree with you, actually. <laughs> Best Paul, I wish you'd just bugger <laughs> off back to England, mate. Look, I mean, it was a tally. Be positive? That happens, mate, but that happens in cricket. And look, I just don't know, you know, I mean, if we turn it round at the Basin Reserve, well, I'll forget about that Tauranga test. If you win the next two in India, I mean, forget the fact that they retain the Border Gavaskar Trophy, because I'm sure that if you asked 100,000 Australian cricket fans, they wouldn't even know what the goddamn thing looks like, even though the two names are well respected. Would that, would that, would that you know, if you won the next two, how would that make you feel after the way that you have been absolutely bummed in the first two? Well, when you support teams that aren't going well, any glimmer of hope Thank you. is worth Thank you. just removing the poor memories, OK? And so there was a couple more of these moments came up with pre-season NRL yes, games over the weekend, Mark. Yes, but, but But we, we just move, we move along and we look for the positives and the positives... Warriors and dogs. Martin, when you start pre-season flying as high as both of our clubs have been yes. momentarily, you're going to come crashing down at some point. The high can't last. The hangover comes at some point. 
Now, let's oh, mate, it's only two over. friggin' games. At this. What do you mean? The highs are hardly a high. It was one game against a shite team. Oh, it was magnificent. And look, the only problem the dogs had on the weekend is tackling. <laughs> oh, goodness great. That's a, reason, that's a reasonably big part of the game. We spoke about that with the Warriors last year. Look, if we tackled, we'd be in yes. it. Well, hang on a second. So I'm, just taking, I'm, taking, I'm, I'm taking a leaf from the Tim Southey book. So if we score more points than them, and if we're not so unlucky with the tackling, then we, mm. we can look at this. Look, mate, I, do you know what? I, I, I was the deflating balloon yesterday. I turned on the Warriors. At 6 and up, I started tweeting about it. I might have texted you about it. I was texting everyone else about it. Going, hey, whoa, hey, hey, these... Whoa. And then uh, Melbourne started playing. And then... Watching Katoa, who was always a good player, I thought, how we let him go just strolling up the field and that, and I just thought, I've 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 seen this program before. I've watched it, you know, I've watched it on repeat. I've I've you know, I've probably gone back when I'm really bored and watched it again for the third. I've made I know what the song is. I know every syllable of every bit of it. I know, I don't want it to be the same, but I feel like it's going to be. I've been watching the blacklist recently, replays of the blacklist, and each episode is the same but slightly different. A new criminal mastermind to be caught. Yes. Who always does by the end of it. And you know what's going to happen. There are just slight changes in dialogue. If you show enough to raise the hopes of your fans before they realise you're a 50-minute team and the game goes 80, you're going to go a long way and you'll sell out stadiums. And didn't we see that sold-out Christchurch? For the Warriors great pre-season. Crowd. Great well, crowd, mate. Brilliant crowd. It was a good crowd down there on a day that hit 30 degrees. Yeah. But they only got 50 minutes of football. <laughs> and see, when when you when the news media is when the news media is reporting they were well in it for 50 minutes, yeah. you go, deja voodoo, this is last year and the year before, and the year before. All over again. That is all over again, mate. That, uh, that, okay, let's talk oh, breakers because we can be positive about the breakers. Matt used to call the breakers, and you called successive triumphs, winning title years for the breakers. So it must warm the cockles seeing them play such gutsy basketball. That's, you know, because I know the breakers have always been that rock and roll kind of side, but this is a team that is actually built on attitude again. So you must be happy with that. Defense, defense, defense. Before this final series, I told you they went in as the best defensive team in the league, and I know you discussed it today with your man out of Australia, yeah. and if they can defend, I think that they're right in this. Now, we know a couple of things. One is, they can defend, but they can also score. We've seen them beaten the Kings recently. I believe if they get, maybe not game one, but game three on the road, game four will be the biggest basketball match, probably in over a decade, it will be a sellout. People will be pumped. And if they come back home for that game four with two, I don't think they have to go back to Sydney. That said, if they don't wrap it up at home game four, I'm not sure they win game five in Sydney. Because a little bit like the Breakers home crowd, the Kings are pretty hard at home. So, yes, they're right in it. Absolutely right in it. And at this stage, it's 50-50. There'll be a little bit of luck, Martin. And as Tim Southey says, yes. if it goes our way and we score well, things will be different. So I think, yes, I am absolutely buzzing. I've been watching the final series. I've loved it. I think the Kings are a good side. But I think the Breakers could have their measure. But they won't win it by game five. They've got to win it before game five. Three on the road will always be tough. Get one on the road. Get your two at home. Bingo. And I'm going to tell you this much. There'll have to be a parade down Queen Street. Have you still got Queen Street open to parades or has that been shut down? No, that's where they're permitting, mate. We're going to finish on this, ladies and gentlemen. I got a text from my good mate Matt earlier today. He says, mate... I was trying to set up a new phone yesterday after travelling back from Christchurch. After four hours, I put the SIM back in the old one. My, my teenage daughter will be sorting it later. Oh, mate, I, can, I, could feel, I, could, I, I could feel, I could feel, I could feel the beautiful Tracy saying, Matt, 
you need to go in, out to the shed and do this because you've been in the house doing this for too long. Is the phone, the new phone still intact? That's question one. No, the, the new phone is still intact, but it's certainly packed away for now. What happened? Riding you... <laughs> home from Christchurch, my daughter said to me, 14 going on 15, let me do it, Dad. There's a lot of complicated... There's a lot of complicated details in transferring all your information oh, onto the new phone. Right, I okay. said, mate, I mate, said, mate, mate, I'm not a hundred. No. I said, I'm nearly fifty. I'm doing it myself. I invented said, this technology, okay? I invented it, okay? Let, Clan of the Cape here. I've got five thousand years of memory here, all right? Let me do it. I used to be I used to be that guy that helped other old people. <laughs> now I'm one of the old people. <laughs> and I refused to let her do it. And then when I eventually Put it away because she was just slyly watching me on the couch. She, she knew what was going on. She never said a word. To her credit, she never said a word until right at the end. And I took the SIM out. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm putting it back in the old phone. And she says to me, she says to me, I told you so. Oh, I'll do yo, it up. Oh. I told you so. I'll do it after school. Oh, good. So oh. hopefully... Hopefully it's done this afternoon, but Martin, I can't remember passwords. <laughs> I had the wrong app downloaded. I was trying to download. I was trying to download onto an Apple app what should have been going onto a Chinese Oppo phone app, Christ. and it wasn't compatible. No, of course and the it wasn't. Other, I said yeah. I, I found the I found the right app. I said in the end, and she said, "Oh, isn't that strange how the new app actually works?" That could have had that done for you three hours ago. I said, "Be quiet, be quiet. Do it when you come home from school tomorrow." That's it. It's over. Let's be positive. LBP TMG. That's Twizel's Matt Gunn. Devlin. You better believe it. The platform.